I am. My name is Dr. Ramil Dakshini. I am a dermatologist practicing in my clinic called Think Skin Clinic in Bangalore. Stem cell transplant is a novel treatment now for aging of the scalp and reduction of hair. Now, hair loss is experienced by all of us. But patterned hair loss, which is called the androgenetic alopecia, most of us suffer a little later in age. We've seen almost 80% of men and 40% of women suffering from this pattern loss after the age of 50 to 60 years. There are multiple treatments that we can do and one of them is stem cell transplant. Now what is this? Here stem cells are injected into the scalp to promote the hair follicle growth, development as well as regeneration. It improves the density of the hair in the scalp, also promoting new hair growth. Now, there are different ways that one can do this transplant. First, we can use our own stem cells. So stem cells which are derived from bone marrow or from the unaffected hair follicle scalp, we can derive those stem cells which are like parent cells. When you inject them into the scalp, they start working like hair cells, promoting more hair growth. The second is stem cells which are derived from a generic thing. It could be fat cells, it could be even another umbilical cord or bone marrow cells which are not your own. These have been sterilized, stored and can be used directly injected into the scalp. We use this in combination with certain growth factors as well as certain proteins which help stimulate and grow the hair follicles. And the last which is very recent and now getting popular is the stem cell exosomes. These exosomes are nothing but tiny vesicles which act as transport medium. So they pick up the proteins, they pick up the active ingredients and growth factors and transport it into the existing hair follicles which have become very small. So when you give them the right nutrition, the hair follicles start growing and becoming more denser. So these are the three ways that we do stem cell transplant. So stem cell transplants generally are injected into the scalp we use very tiny syringes and needles which hardly cause any pain and inject it evenly into the scalp or into the area where it, there is a concern. We also can use something called mesotherapy which has multiple needles on a machine or a pen-like structure which is directly injected into the scalp area where the hair follicles grow. The benefit of this is that it's a very quick procedure. Although you need multiple sessions, you start seeing results within a month which can be continued further. The side effects here which we notice are one, its efficacy itself. Although there are great results and medical literature shows a lot of change in many patients, we do not know how every individual takes it and many a times there is complete rejection of the stem cell injections with no efficacy results. Secondly, along with stem cell injections, there is always a need for home care. So it is not a monotherapy. You need to apply your hair serums as well as certain protein ingredients which can cause stimulation as well as help the growth of the hair follicles. Also, these stem cells are not standardized. So we do not know which combination actually works and which doesn't. Standardization and good clinical trials are still a dearth in stem cell transplant therapy as of now for hair transplantation. Rare side effects could be infection on the scalp due to bad procedure doing as well as there could be some amount of trauma or bleeding post the procedure. The only thing that you need to remember is when you go for the procedure, remember to keep your scalp clean, wash it the morning before you're going in for your treatment Post-treatment, the next day you need to again wash your hair so that it's clean. Try and use a mild antiseptic shampoo to keep the scalp clean and hydrated. Do not forget to go on time and take your treatments in the exact interval to see the best results.